guys. I know usually I don't go into backstory about uh, about the project I'm doing, but today we're going to make an exception for it. Um, today we'll be doing a custom graduation stole. This is the blank, obviously, but it, it'll look much different when it's done. Um, but we're going to go to the backstory of what I'm doing and why. Um, this is for my cousin Jackson that's graduating this year, and for those who didn't know, which I'm pretty sure nobody knew, I just it's not something we just make you know, a parent or anything, but he, he was battling a stage four neuroblastoma. It's a, it's a cancerous tumor. Um, with that being said, it's been a, it's been a rough couple of years for the guy. I mean, it, it broke my heart to see what he's going through because I mean, not his grandma is two houses down and they basically, they'd live there during the summer. So they'd always come over and see what, uh, see what uncle Jeffy's doing and see what, see what he's working on and try to help out where they can, you know, those kids look up to me and, and, I mean, I just love them. Um, so it broke my heart to see what they were going through. Um, matter of fact, he was actually the, the ring bearer in our wedding. We didn't put the picture up there for y'all. But, uh, but yeah, I just, you know, those kids keep me going, man. Just like my own kid. You just gotta, just gotta do right because they're always watching. Um, but for such a tough kid that, that faced all that and, you know, it's, it's still graduating and it's still doing stuff and doing, going to do big things in the world. Um, I want to do something other than a standard graduation stole. So, I mean, cause, cause it's just a regular one wouldn't fit him, you know, I mean, you know, so, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that for him and this is how we do it. All right, guys. Uh, when we originally designed this, uh, I just put some photos on it. And that, since the thing is essentially a five inch wide by sixty inch piece of material, we're just doing basically uh, two thirty inch high mater uh, materials that are five inches wide, and I just did them side by side so we could see how it would drape, kinda. And once you get your design complete, what you'll do is you'll want to uh, convert it to a JPEG. Well, supposedly you could flat you could flatten all the layers as well, but I just usually just save it to a JPEG. And what we're going to do is we're going to slice it to fit on 13 by 19 inch paper. We're going to go ahead and do the JPEG. And we're going to find a creative place to splice it. Um, something like right here. Like in any seams you could, you could potentially do it right there. I will go ahead and draw that. And what you can do is if you, if it's a pixel off, you can just do that and you can go ahead and cut. And we're going to put it on a new page. 13 by 19. And check it out. Put that there. And then, addition, go ahead and do the same thing for this side. And that's exactly what you do. You do it for both sides and pretty easy, pretty easy to do. And this, and this way you could just, you could essentially just take this when you sub it, you just put the other one right underneath it. Get your completed piece just like it is in the JPEG. But I went ahead and prepped these earlier because I wasn't sure if I was going to make a YouTube video about this or not, but with it being graduation and all that, it seemed, it seemed like a, like a good idea and see what I did. I created a left file and a right file and it all fits on 13 by 19 paper. And looking back at it, I should have put, I should have did a safety margin, put a little bit more up, up top, but you know, it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and print this. Um, we are going to print these on my, my normal settings, which uh high quality premium presentation mat 13 by 19. Um, mirror image, uh, nothing special. We're going to do under the image, or plus advanced. I think it's ICM. Yeah. And unlike usual, we're going to be doing this on the, uh, the Himidu tail sublimation paper. It, it, it's an, it's a new sublimation paper I've been using. It works especially good on fabric and it's a little cheaper and it's usually in, on, in stock on Amazon.
All right, guys. We uh, these were printed on big old thirteen by nineteen paper, so we're going. I don't have a, I don't have a shear cutter big enough, so we're just gonna uh, try to make this work. And this is one side. And what we're gonna do? We're just gonna try to edge the pictures where they meet together, because it's gonna essentially meet together just like that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut the very top edge. And we're gonna use scissors for a little more precision than normal. All right, so what we wanna do is give us a quick lint roll. Just make sure we get anything off. There might be a problem. And we're actually gonna be doing it this diagonal way because that way I have something to support it and such. All right, we're gonna to not touch the heat press. That would be really cool. So now we're going to put our other two pretty pieces. We're going to give this a quick pre-press and they're going to get cracking on it. We're a little close. I'm going to scoot it up a little bit to make darn sure we get it. We're going to put fairly firm pressure just to make sure. Just make sure we get it good and flat. Now we're going to pre-press it for about 10 seconds. I had to adjust my camera a little bit. It was, I bumped it and it was a little out of a lot of sorts. There we go. Nice and neat. So what we're gonna do, hmm, it's gonna be a little tough, but we're gonna make it work. We're just gonna tape that in place in a couple places and we're gonna give it a quick press. And the, we're gonna be doing this face up and we're gonna try to do, uh, I think it's 385 for about 60 seconds. And we're gonna see how we look. Almost pressed it just like that. That would be bad. Yeah, let's pull our protection paper on, because we don't want nothing on our, on our heat press. So we're gonna go ahead and press that for 60 seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and glove up. These gloves you can get off Amazon. Drop the link in the description. We intend on reusing this. But not particularly this. So there we go. We're gonna go ahead and I'm a dummy, I grabbed the wrong thing. And that's how the first one come out. Absolutely perfect. Like look at that. That's phenomenal, my dude. So see, it's gonna go like that and it's gonna butt right up to it. But we definitely need to tape it in place, like no doubt. And it can even overlap a little bit and it'll still be fun. Like it would still be just fun. But we wanna keep my dude in the picture. Ooh, that sucked. Don't touch the heat press, guys. Cause that's a bad time if you touch the heat press and I just did it. So try not to, not to, don't touch heat press. 400 degree heat press does not feel good on your knuckle. Just saying. Just in case you didn't think about that, you know. We're gonna waste a lot of paper doing this. <laughs> Actually, we're just gonna do this in uh, sideways because we're gonna have to move it, I think. We're gonna do multiple presses with it. 
which is just fine. All right, we got sufficient overlap there? I think we do. Yeah. All right. So we'll go ahead and protect that. Get that as close to the edge as I can. And it's kind of like doing an all over t-shirt. You just keep moving it and you keep pressing it and eventually you get it. All right, so here we go. Press number two. 385, 60 seconds. We could reuse those. Yeah, they're fine. Oh yeah. I don't think I quite pressed it. I think my I think some of it was hanging off my press or something. Yep, because it didn't press. Like that's lined up. We're gonna try it. I usually don't, but we're gonna try it. Make sure we didn't, we moved it a lot. Yeah, we finna try that real quick. I usually don't repress anything, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna give that a little bit of heat. We're gonna give it about 30 seconds of heat. I just didn't get pressure in that spot. We're gonna see if we can resolve it real quick. Truthfully, that should be enough time to get it. Yeah, <laughs> it's so funny how that works. Like, you can't really tell that I had that issue there. That's how you fix sublimation, guys. Now, so far, this is what we have. I'll go ahead and use my hand on the other side. This is what we have so far. That purple's beautiful. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get this other part going. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get this this section cut out and everything. And keep in mind, this is this over here is the bottom. So we're just gonna cut the pieces apart. That about went haywire. There we go. Then we can just do this. There we go. And we'll go ahead and get that pressed. We'll go ahead and cut the top off just in case. I don't want no strays. All right. And then we'll go ahead and cut the bottom of this one. And all we're doing is just cutting it with the scissors because the, I mean, technically, I guess I could have cut it with the chop, but I feel like the scissors, I don't know. I feel like I have a little more control. So there we go. That way, when we press it, we can just match that up and we'll be good to go. So we'll go over, head over to the heat press and we'll get the other side pressed and we'll be done. And we know we're going to be pressing this side. So, bang out my. So, we're gonna go ahead and get that as centered as we can. And we're gonna go ahead and tape that guy. Get it on there as straight as we can. But it's gotta have everything has to be printed, so. So, we're gonna get us a couple pieces of tape. 
tape them down. Tape it to the, and usually I don't use tape on fabric, but when you do any kind of like all over, or not all over, but anytime you have to do something like this and you're gonna have to flip the piece, there really isn't an option. You're kind of gonna have to do it that way. So we're just gonna flip them. Um, that is after we put a couple pieces of paper down just to, just to insulate a little bit, you know. Y'all know how it is. Y'all know how I do things. I'm I'm really safe about protecting the platen and heat press. So we're gonna get all that up there. We know we're in a good spot to press. So now we can just uh Yeah, we good. All right, let's go ahead and press. And we're pressing at 385 at, at uh, 60 seconds. All right. Now, by golly, we're expecting perfection. What do we have? If we can just make it work, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. That's so close to being right, dude. Damn it. Wish I'd went a little bit more, but it's fine. It's fine. We're going to make it work. All right, so this is our last piece and we got it lined up. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and press it. And again, 385 at 60. I just noticed I totally didn't press record for the last press, but this is what we have. We have that. That's the lines where the photos met. Um, no problem there, pretty good. It had one little spot where it's, it's a little darker because it was thick. And then this mess up spot that I'm gonna fix. I'm gonna take a piece of paper and do like a gradient. Maybe a black gradient or, or purple or something to fix that. But otherwise, I mean, it's it's pretty well perfect. We're gonna print a piece of purple and fix that other piece though. All right, now we printed our paper to fix our whoops, so we're going to try to just uh, go ahead and just trim that up. All right. All right, now we're going to work. I feel like it'll look better, even if it's a little darker in the area, to have at least a purple, purple something there. So we're going to do that. There we go. At least it'll be purple something there. And I'm going to line it up with the seam line. And that way it's a little less apparent. But we're going to roll with that. We're just going to do that. And I think that's more than adequate. So we're going to go with that. Nothing special, nothing wrong. All right, we're going to press it. Again, press it for 385 for 60 seconds. And we're going to make, we're going to see if this fixes the issue. Maybe it'll give it a little color in that spot. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Yeah, I think that looks better than just having a, a blank spot, if you can see what I mean. It, it actually looks like it may have been designed that way. So I'm, I'm okay with that. It's, it's better than just a random, like, faded spot and a white spot there. Guys, I appreciate y'all coming on the journey with me on, uh, on, on making this. It, look, it turned out phenomenal. 
Um, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I know he's gonna be just thrilled, but it's not very often you get to take on projects like this that actually mean something, you know, to this extent. So, so I, I'm, I'm really glad I was able to, to do it and help him out. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a big old thumbs up. Uh, help the YouTube algorithm do its thing. Um, also, feel free to subscribe for future content. Uh, make stuff like this all the time. It's 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 fun for me. It's uh, I love doing. It. I love helping people out. I love making things for people, and I like seeing people's faces whenever they get their custom one one off item that is just perfect for them. And big shout out to India's Create Space uh, for getting us these. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop a link in the description below. Um, that way you can go to her site and check it out. That way if you want to do these and because the, the, the graduation market is upon us. So, you know, go ahead and pick those up. We, we create everything that we can. So, all right, you guys have a good day and we'll see you in the next video. God, Becky, look at that B-roll. And also, big shout out to India's creator space, or, hmm, let's redo that. That's not very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you can make any of these, even a graduation. My dad just wanted to make a graduation. You can make a werewolf, a Minecraft, whatever you want. Yeah, absolutely. All I have to say is this is 10 out of 10. That's true. That's not that's not incorrect. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Daddy does good? Yeah. 10 out of 10. Okay. So all right, you guys. Have a good day, and we'll see you in the next video.